what's up guys welcome back to my channel um today i wanted to do a little bit of wedding content i know i haven't done very much wedding content thus far um, but today we are officially 102 days out until the wedding the wedding is going to be on october 30th of this year uh, pretty much everything is set in stone. I bought my dress over a year ago and today I basically want to do something that I was inspired to do by another creator called Smoky Glow. Uh, Smoky Glow, uh, Hannah who runs Smoky Glow has an amazing commentary channel. I love watching her so much and uh, she recently did a basically rating wedding dresses I didn't buy tag and I got really inspired by that because I tried on about nine or ten different dresses before I found the one that I bought um, and I went to two different stores um, and the first store I didn't really have that great of an experience at and the second store was just David's Bridal but I ended up buying a dress from David's Bridal and so today I wanted to basically do the rating the wedding dresses I didn't buy tag. So I'm basically just going to pop the picture of the wedding dress up on the screen and I'm going to describe it to you and basically um, rate it on a scale from 1 to 10 and basically describe why I didn't purchase that dress. So I'm not going to lie, the first couple dresses that are from White Lace and Promises in Knoxville, um, they didn't fit me very well and so it's kind of hard to like picture what they would look on me when they fit correctly that's part of most of the reason why i didn't really buy a dress from white lace and promises because really none of them that i tried on fit me very well with the exception of like maybe one or two and i'll get into that and i'll show you basically which ones those are whenever you make an appointment to go to a dress shop they usually have you put in what you estimate your dress size would be just so that they can prepare for your appointment beforehand and pull some dresses for you and know what size to pull um, in dresses for you when you go to your appointment. Um, I had just bought a dress for um, my brother-in-law's wedding, my soon-to-be brother-in-law's wedding because I was in their wedding party and I had purchased a dress from David's Bridal and it was a size 8 um, and that was only a couple months prior to me going to try on my own wedding dress so I had estimated my dress size at a size 8 since I still had that dress and I just bought it a couple months prior. What I didn't really know is that wedding dresses to do seem to run a lot smaller than regular dresses or bridesmaids dresses for that matter. I had made two separate appointments for the same day and it was on June 28th of 2020. So the first uh, appointment that I had made was at like 1 o'clock p.m. at White Lace and Promises in Knoxville. Um, some of my family was in town over that weekend and so I had my mom with me and my aunt and my cousin. Um, so we had arrived at White Lace and Promises at 1 o'clock p.m. to do some dress sampling um, in there and then I had another appointment at David's Bridal across the street at 3. When I first arrived to White Lace and Promises, um, they have beautiful gowns. I'm not gonna lie, they have beautiful gowns. Um, I was looking for a very specific style um, and it had to have sleeves something that has to have sleeves um, so I they give you like a couple pins I think five or six pins like uh, clothes pins and you go around the store and you basically um, put a clothes pin on the dresses and the dress styles that you would like them to pull for you and they'll pull obviously the same size that's in your profile um, so I went around um, and I picked some dresses and she brought them to the fitting room for me and uh, started putting them on me and I quickly realized that I was not a size 8. <laughs> um, all of the dresses that she was trying to put on me, um, most of them would not go around my chest um, and none of the sleeves fit my arms at all. Um, and I do have bigger arms and that's like part of the reason that I wanted them covered <laughs> um, because I'm very self-conscious about my arms. But uh, yeah, I quickly realized that the size eight dresses were not gonna work for me. And um, they didn't have a, a bigger size in a lot of the dresses that I had picked. Um, so she just kept pulling size eights for me, even though she knew and I knew and my family knew that a size eight was not gonna work for me. Um, so a lot of these dresses that you're gonna see um, are pinned basically to me and they're very ill-fitting. Some of them don't even go all the way up around my collarbone because they won't go over my chest. Um, so I'm gonna 
basically keep that in mind when I um, do the rating because it's hard to tell what I would rate it if it fit me. Um, obviously it's gonna lose points if it doesn't fit me and it looks bad because it's ill-fitting. The first dress that I have here, um, I wanted to try, a lot of the dresses that I picked from White Lace and Promises have very big full uh, skirts and a lot of lace and tulle and obviously all of them have sleeves. So the first one here that I picked um, has all of that, um, but it obviously doesn't go around my collarbone. I could not get this dress to go past this point in my arms because um, the sleeves were not fitting properly. So um, this picture, you can see like the back where it is like strapped around me and then the front. So the front of this dress here, um, it's obviously there's a lot going on. I wasn't thrilled with the color of this dress because it's kind of like a nude off-white color. Um, and then the sleeves were very, very pretty, but the top part of this, um, where the beads were hitting like my chest area, my arms, uh, was very itchy and pokey. So um, comfortability-wise, I don't think that dress would have been something that I could have worn. Um, I love the sweetheart neckline though, the way that it would, would have laid across my arms and my chest if it had fit me correctly. I love that it like kind of goes across my shoulders and dips a little bit in the middle and then comes back up. Um, and then I wasn't really thrilled with the layered part of the skirt here. So it was kind of like an uneven cut because the front of it was kind of like off center in how it was cut, like layered like that. Um, so, and it was really just too full for my taste. The dress itself was very heavy. Um, and it was, I mean, that paired along with the fact that it wasn't fitting me properly was really hard to maneuver and walk in. <laughs> and I can only imagine being 5'1", how much they would have to take off of the bottom of that dress just for it to hit me at the right place on my ankle. So, um, yeah, that one, I'm gonna rate this one four out of 10. Um, not only because it doesn't fit me properly, but also just because of the uncomfortability of it and the bulkiness of it. Um, looked pretty on the rack, but I don't think utility-wise it would have been a good dress for me. So I'm going to move on to dress number two. So this dress right here, um, the skirt part, part of it was a whole lot easier to maneuver in. Um, it's obviously a lot less bulky and it's mostly tulle, so it's pretty light. Um, the thing I didn't like about this dress is the fact that it goes, the V on the boob part of it is so low. I didn't really like that it was showing like so much cleavage there. And um, also I didn't really care for the design on the sleeves and the way that it's hitting my waist just it hits me in a very awkward place on my body and so it's not really accentuating my waist that well. So that's one of the main reasons I don't like this one is just how it fits on my body and on my height and how it like hits right at the waistline. Um, also, this one did have sleeves that were kind of itchy as well. So um, for this one, um, it does make my chest look pretty good. But for this one, I think I'm going to rate this one a 5 out of 10 just because it gets an extra point for utility because it's not so bulky on the bottom. But at the same time, uh, the top still had that uncomfortable scratchy. She had it banded around me here too, but the side profile is really beautiful. Like I like the color of this dress. I like how the color looks against my skin, but... I don't know, the design on the sleeve just really isn't my style. It looks very architecture-y and just kind of looks like something that would be on the side of a house. <laughs> it doesn't really look that delicate to me, um, but the color is beautiful and the way it looks on me from the side is actually pretty good. This next dress is another one of those dresses that the very bottom of it, the skirt part, was so bulky that the dress just weighed a ton. It felt like it weighed so much when I was trying to move around in it and put it on. 
um this is one of those dresses that had like the nude mesh portion that went all the way up to your collarbone but this is another situation where the dress would go over my arms up to past my shoulders because my arms were too big to fit in the sleeves so uh it just didn't really hit me in the right places for me to be able to tell how it would really look on me if it fit properly the um beading on it is actually very pretty and delicate um but i wasn't really into like the pearls per se i was more into like lacy dresses so this was something that my mom really wanted me to try on um but yeah this um i didn't i wasn't really super thrilled with the beading detail on this i really preferred more like lacy detailed lacy details um if it had fit me properly this dress probably would have hit my waist at a very flattering area of my body um and i think my chest would have been better supported if it fit me properly um and although the skirt was not really functional and very heavy and bulky i did like the way that this one was cut and layered i really think that it's very beautiful and delicate and flowy and airy. So I really like the bottom of it, even though I don't really think I could move around in it that well. And it would need a lot of altering just because I'm so short. So, um, honestly, I'm gonna give this dress a six out of 10. I think I would probably be more apt to rate it a seven out of 10 if it fit me properly and I got to see what it would actually look on my body, look like on my body, but, um, yeah that one and then just the the back of it it had a little bit of a train and the side profile in that is actually really pretty but yeah i wasn't really super into the beading i would have preferred lace on that one so this next one is something that i pulled just because all of the dresses that i pulled before had sleeves so i wanted to try something on that was a strapless or a strap small strapped dress so I picked this one, um, it does have beading once again, it doesn't have any lace and the skirt is actually like very, very poofy, but it's layered in a way that it wasn't as bulky as the previous dress. Um, the top of this dress I think is beautiful. The issue that I'm having with this dress is that it accentuates my arms and my chest in a way that makes me look huge. <laughs> um, and that's just me being insecure, but at the same time, I just feel like this dress made me look ginormous because it didn't hit me at the greatest spot on my waist and then it just the dre the skirt part of the dress itself was so big that it just didn't slim me down any and also just made me look very very wide um so this dress obviously was a no i didn't want anything that didn't have sleeves and it just showed a little bit too much cleavage for me and made me look really big. So I'm going to rate this one a four out of 10. This next dress I spent a lot of time in um, because this is one of the only dresses that actually fit me properly at White Lace and Promises. Um, what I like about this dress is that the sleeves are lace and very delicate looking and it was comfortable. Um, I did like the layering on this one on the skirt as well, and it did have lace details all the way down the skirt, which is another thing that I really liked. Um, I really liked how even though this dress dipped down in the center, like at the cleavage area, it still covered me and made me feel supported, and also it really cinched at the waist, which I really liked. It had a lot of sparkle, but it was like placed very well so i feel like um it still looked delicate without looking too gaudy um so that's what i really liked about this dress and i spent a very long time in this dress um the train i thought was beautiful the side of it was beautiful um this one was like a real contender by the time that i got this one on um i probably spent like 30 minutes in this one and i put a veil on and it was just beautiful uh, another downside to this one though is that the skirt itself was really bulky and very long because of the train um so this one would be hard to maneuver in as well for the wedding um but i really really like this i still really like this dress especially paired with the veil i think it's gorgeous so i'm gonna rate this one an eight out of ten 
Um, this one also I spent a lot of time in, um, mostly because of the color of this dress. And that's just because um, at the time, a lot of the decor that I purchased for the wedding was similar in color to this dress. And it kind of had like a bluish, purpley gray undertone. It wasn't like a white color. It, was, it wasn't really an off-white color. It was kind of like a bluish color. Um, and it was really easy to maneuver in. The skirt wasn't as bulky as the previous dresses. Um, really flowy, had the lace detail, the sleeve detail, the sweetheart neckline, the flowers on the cuff and the beading, cinched at the waist, um, and then the detail flowed down the skirt, had sparkles on the skirt. So that's what I really liked about this dress. Um, I feel like looking at it in the picture, um, it doesn't really do it very much justice in terms of color because it kind of makes me look washed out a little bit. Um, but I did spend a lot of time in this dress as well and this was a major contender when I tried it on. Um, the back of it also is gorgeous. The back of it has this little swoop detail with the beading. Um, it didn't really fit me properly 100% but I could get the gist of it by how it was pulled in on me. Um, and then the flower details in the back, just gorgeous. So with the veil and everything, I feel like it really brought it together. It's a really pretty dress. But in the end, um, all of the dresses from White Lace and Promises ranged anywhere between $2,500 and $4,000. So this one I think was $3,500 and I was just not prepared <laughs> for the dresses at that store to be that expensive. Um, especially when I couldn't even really see what they would look like on me. Yeah, I didn't end up buy end up buying any dresses from this store just because one the cost and two um, how they fit me. And um, the consultant seemed very cold and kind of calloused about it. Like she didn't really talk to me much and um, really provide me any comfort. And she kept pulling dresses that were either way too small or like a size 22 way too big. Um, and she didn't really put in very much effort in trying to get it on me properly. Even if it, you know, was too big or a little bit too small, she didn't really help me out any. So I just kind of felt, you know, like I was being punished almost. I kind of felt like she was judging me really hardcore based on what I'd predicted my size to be. Almost like she was thinking, well, how could you think you were a size eight? You're obviously way bigger than a size eight. You know, like I just felt like she was giving me those kind of vibes. So I don't know. I Maybe I could be wrong. Maybe I'm just, you know, being like Bridezilla, being picky or something. But I don't know. I just got bad vibes from the consultant and she just seemed like she didn't want to be there and wasn't super happy with the fact that I said I was a size eight and wasn't a size eight. So um. Overall, anyway, I think I'm going to rate this dress a 7 out of 10. Um, I spent a lot of time in this next dress as well because this one, um, I forget if this one was a size 22 or not, but she pulled, one of the dresses she pulled was a size 22 and she ended up getting it um, clipped on me in a way that was better fitting than most of the other dresses. Um, and I did spend a lot of time in this one just because the belt on this one really hit me at a good spot on my waist. Um, the differentiation between the top and the sleeves, like where the top and the sleeves meet, I really liked that. And um, the fact that the detailing went down the skirt as well. Um, this one is kind of like a leaf detail, flowers and leaves and lace and beads, which I really love. Um, obviously, I'm having a fall wedding and I'm more of a naturey person, so... I loved the detailing on this dress. Um, the train was a little bit longer, had detailing down the back. Um, and yeah, just overall the way that this dress fit me, I was really happy with. Um, I loved the top part, how the top part of the uh, dress on the skirt was tulle and it was very flowy and I was picking it up and playing with it. And just the way that it, the way that the silhouette looked on my body, I was really happy with. Um, there's a picture of the train and the train has like the same flower details that are on the sleeves and it looks so delicate and beautiful. So yeah, I spent a lot of time in this dress as well. I think more time in this one than I did with the previous two. Um, and then just with the, with the veil on this one too, I just feel like it brought it all together. Um, and it's kind of like an off-white peachy undertone dress and I just, yeah, 
I spent a lot of time in this one, even when, she, especially when she uh, laid the train and the veil out together. I just feel like that was beautiful. Um, so those are all the dresses that I tried on at White Lace and Promises. Um, I feel like the last three were really big contenders of mine. Um, but those were probably the most expensive ones that I tried on at White Lace and Promises. Um, and I had the other appointment at David's Bridal scheduled previously anyway. So I thought if I don't find anything at David's Bridal, then I'll just go back over to White Lace and Promises and I'll get one of those three dresses. Um, I didn't have to do that because I bought one at David's Bridal. <laughs> but um, when I arrived at David's Bridal, um, because of coronavirus, I was only allowed two guests and I had three with me. Um, White Lace and Promises did allow three guests, so I thought maybe I could persuade them to let the other guests in if they weren't super busy and they were able to socially distance properly and they didn't have a lot of other brides there. Um, unfortunately that wasn't the case because there were a lot of people in there, so to adequately, adequately socially distance everyone, um, they had to limit everyone to two guests, which I totally understand, obviously, you want to be safe and take all the precautions for coronavirus. Um, it was just unfortunate that it was so busy that day. Um, so I, when I arrived, um, they, my consultant had pulled about five or six dresses for me and I had let her know that, um, the size eight probably was not going to be the best option for me, that she was probably going to have to pull one or two sizes up for me. And she was totally understanding of that because I'm pretty sure... Um, she had been working there when I got my bridesmaid's dress a couple of months before. So, um, and they sized me for that too and they were all very nice. Um, so she had pulled a dress style for me that I basically had thrown out entirely. Um, I thought, you know, I'm not going to like anything in this style so I'm not even going to try anything on in that style because I know it's not going to fit me properly and it's going to look really bad on my body shape and my body type so I'm not even going to try that on. Um, but my mom was like, well she pulled it for you so you might as well try it on. So I tried that dress on and that was the dress that I ended up purchasing. Um, but it was the first one that I tried on at David's Bridal, so I took that one off and I tried on, uh, the other dress that I actually went to David's Bridal to try on. Um, this dress was the entire reason that I even wanted to go to David's Bridal in the first place, because I saw this on their website and I absolutely fell in love with it. Didn't end up being the dress that I bought, but I knew that I had to try it on since that was the dress that I went to David's Bridal for in the first place. So I took off the dress that I ended up buying and I put this one on. So I still absolutely love this dress. Um, it is similar in style and shape and length and everything to the one that I had on at White Lace and Promises that I stayed in for a very long time. Um, but this dress was much, much cheaper, definitely within my price range and um, fit me like a glove, cinched at the waist perfectly. Uh, fit over my arms and my shoulders perfectly. Um, the length wasn't too far off from what it needed to be. And it had the detailing down the skirt. The skirt was not too bulky at all. Very light and flowy and beautiful. Just everything that I had basically imagined um, when I saw it online. Um, the issue is that the model that had it on was much th more thinner, much more thin than I am. So it just didn't really look how I pictured it would look, how it would look on me. So um, I just didn't end up liking it as much as I did the first one that I tried on. Um, but especially with the belt and the veil with this dress, oh my gosh, just absolutely gorgeous. And the way it went, the sleeves went over my hands just the slightest bit. Very, just gorgeous, gorgeous. I, I feel like this, this dress would probably be a very strong runner up for me if I hadn't bought the one that I did. So I'm definitely gonna rate this one a nine out of 10, um, being that my the dress that I bought is a 10 out of 10. <laughs> um, but this one, if I hadn't purchased the dress that I did, I probably would have bought this one. Um, I feel like the belt just ties it all in together. It's very, very elegant and dainty, I love it. Um, but yeah, I didn't end up buying that one. I ended up buying one that I thought I would have never purchased, but I did. And um, 
The consultant at David's Bridal was so sweet and so understanding. I had told her basically I didn't have the greatest experience at White Lace and Promises and I was kind of disappointed with the fact that I didn't fit into, into any of the dresses over there and I couldn't really tell what they looked like on me to even buy one. Um, and the dress that I ended up buying actually fit me like a glove, like perfectly. So I didn't really have to do any alterations to it aside from on the bottom a little bit just for the length. Um, but yeah, fit me perfectly. And I didn't even have to buy like the petite size or anything, like the one that is for shorter women or shorter people. But yeah, absolutely gorgeous. And um, the consultant really, really <laughs> tied it all together for me. Um, she did my hair for me. She put it up. She braided it for me. She put a little um, hair accent in my hair for me. She put the veil on for me. She got me shoes. Um, I mean, everything. Just she went all out. 10 out of 10 experience from her. And that's the reason that I ended up purchasing, purchasing a dress from David's Bridal because the consultant was just amazing and um, really, really hospitable and just amazing. So, yeah, those are rating the dresses that I didn't buy and you guys will end up seeing my actual dress here in about three months almost 100 days on the dot exactly to our wedding so you guys will not have to wait long to see the dress that I actually bought um, if you know me personally you can probably guess what it looks like considering I said it was a style that I thought I would never buy <laughs> um, but yeah, that is rating the dresses that I didn't buy. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out any of my other videos if you want to see more videos from me on story times or art progressions or college tips or any of those other things. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I'll wait for you hooligans to get out of my house. <laughs>